In Israel, the gas lines are typically set up to each house, so you may continue to cook after the apocalypse occurs. Oh, I'm not saying that today is the day. I'm not saying that God may or may not have told me that today is the day and to not be ready. For if God speaks to me, they can put me away. So God does not speak to me, but he has in the past. That is why my friends call me a prophet, although the doctors call me a schizophrenic. It's funny how the secular people, the, the friends, they actually believe that I am somewhat of a prophet. So here we have a mac and cheese, three packs of cigarettes, just to be safe. No tooth biscuit. High energy. One teaspoon to a tablespoon is enough for a day. XL, that's just for the immediate stay up first night until we can figure something else out. Tonight is the night. I am not saying that God may or may not have spoken to me recently and told me to be prepared tonight for it is the night. I'm simply saying that my friends call me prophet as I have heard God in the past and spoken with him. Well then why, you may ask, do I only buy a few things if tonight is not the night? Well, you have to understand, those of us in Israel who hear God are persecuted. We are thrown into hospitals annually, sometimes twice a year, usually for reasons that would not hold up in the United States of America uh, or Europe. Although we may need a helping hand, we do not need the torture and harsh treatment that we receive. In the past, those of you who have studied the book may know Jezebel the Queen, if you understand what I am saying. If you do not, the prophets of the past were not always treated so kindly, thrown into holes, murdered, starved. Once again, I'm not a prophet, I'm not saying such. It is my friends who <laughs> testify to this. So why only a few things? Because they starve us and keep us in poverty. My disability is 20% less than the minimum wage. I was not always on disability. I was a combat soldier and I had 12 years of successful reserve duty. Uh, I worked in security, I worked in the Knesset at one point. Uh, I worked in news, I worked in many things. Uh, I paid my taxes. But I had post-trauma from a terror attack in the early 2000s during the Second Intifada. That was a terror war launched by the Palestinian Authority against Israelis trying to kill Jews, as many Jews as possible. And uh, when I asked the state for help, they told me at Bitoch Naomi, which is national insurance, we find it suspicious that you come years after an attack. I said, this is how post-trauma works. They said, no, no, you are looking for a payday. You're looking for money. And they refused all help and assistance. Uh, a year later, after intense flashbacks daily, uh, sometimes 24 hours a day, I began hearing God and seeing angels and demons and conversing with them all. The post-trauma untreated, the psychiatrist said, opened the door for schizophrenia. So now, unable to work, I'm on disability. 20% less, which it comes out to about 3,596 shekel a month. How much does a member of Knesset make? 55,000 a month. Do they prepare? <laughs> they do not. But they also do not believe, for the most part. Little mac and cheese. Three packs of cigarettes, just to be safe. Lotus biscuit. High energy. One teaspoon to a tablespoon is enough for a day. XL, that's just for the immediate stay up first night. Why only the first night? Well, those of us who believe know God will take care of us. In any case, have a good weekend and a Shabbat Shalom.